it's Dance here. Welcome back to Taboo Tuesdays, to the show where we discuss taboo topics which I feel like are not discussed enough. Today I am presenting you with a topic that I feel like is not discussed enough as Taboo Tuesdays mentality says so. And it is going to be STIs. Now I know that most of you have probably learned about this in sex ed class or have learned about this in biology class, but I feel like they are not discussed enough because we learn them and then we forget what they are. So I decided to make a collection of some facts and important things that you should know, that I think that you should know, and share it with you guys. STI stands for sexually transmitted infections. It is not called STDs or sexually transmitted diseases anymore. The term has changed, so update your dictionary inside here and call them STIs from now on. These are infections passed on from one person to the other by unprotected sexual activities and genital contact. Not all STIs are symptomatic or have symptoms right away. So to make sure that you do not have any, go and get tested. That is the only way you can find out because if symptoms do not arise by in a certain time period, you may be passing the STI on to someone before you know that you even have the STI. So make sure to get tested. Now the reason for me telling you guys about this is because STIs are more serious of a topic than you would think. They can cause infertility, chronic pain, and even death. So please do make sure to get checkups regularly or to, or to visit your doctor regularly. There are five main categories of STIs. The first is bacterial, such as chlamydia, syphilis, or gonorrhea. The second is viral, such as hepatitis B, HIV, or HPV. The third is fungal, such as yeast infections. The fourth is parasitical, such as pubic lice. And lastly, the fifth is protozoal, such as trick. And now we will go over the seven most known STIs. I will give you symptom informations and treatment informations. Some of them will have more info since there is more information available for everyone on the internet and some of them will have less information because of the unknown facts about the illnesses because there are many STIs and there are not too many ways to treat them depending on their types, but yeah. So let's start with chlamydia. In women, the symptoms include abnormal vaginal discharge and bleeding between periods or a burning feeling during urination. But most of the times, there are no symptoms in women. For men, symptoms include urination pain and discharge from the penis. If left untreated, chlamydia can lead to PIV, which is a pelvic inflammatory disease. It can be treated with antibiotics. The second one is herpes. Now, there are two types of herpes. One is in your mouth, which you can get on your lips usually, and the other is genital. We are talking about the genital kind here. So, for herpes, symptoms begin 2 to 20 days after contact and can last up to 2 to 4 weeks time. The symptoms are mostly flu-like symptoms, but can include itchy genital area and urination pain. Now off to the most common STI in the US, it is HPV, which is human papillomavirus. In 90% of the cases, the body clears itself in two years of uh, being infected. If untreated or not cleared from the body within two years, it can cause genital warts or cervical cancer. There are two vaccines which can protect you from the HPV which causes cervical cancer, since there are like 40 types of human papillomaviruses, which I would totally recommend getting if you are a woman. The fourth is gonorrhea. Symptoms tend to appear usually two to five days after contact, but can appear months later in some men. In men, symptoms can include urination pain, swollen genitalia, sore throat, and discharge from the penis, which is discolored. 
in women, the most common are vaginal discharge, painful intercourse, and fever. In most cases, gonorrhea can be cured by the use of antibiotics. The fifth I wanted to mention was syphilis, which is one of the most severe ones, as it can lead to complications and even to death. It does not have any symptoms, it can only be diagnosed by blood tests. In the early stages, it can be treated by the use of a certain type of penicillin or some kinds of antibiotics. The sixth one is trach, which is most common in women and is mostly treated by antibiotics. And the seventh and last STI, which I wanted to mention, is one which everyone knows about, HIV. It is a virus which damages the body's immune system, so basically your immune system just breaks down and you cannot protect yourself from any infections. There are four stages. The first one is the primary stage in which you have flu-like symptoms. Then comes the asymptomatic stage where you do not have any symptoms which can last for years and in these years the, the virus is basically destroying your immune system. And then comes the symptomatic infection and lastly you arrive to AIDS. So I wanted to point out a mistake that we make. HIV is the virus. AIDS is the condition in which your immune system is not able to protect your body anymore from any other viruses. So even if you catch like a cold or something, you can die. There is no known cure for HIV or AIDS, but there are some drugs which can extend the life of patients with AIDS. I know that this sounds really scary, but I want you to remember something. Prevention is key. Use condoms. Condoms are 99% effective in preventing pregnancy and at the same time they are the most effective protection forms which you can use against STIs. Be it a female or male condom, it really doesn't matter. The, the only thing that matters is that you use it. Now the diseases can be transmitted through unprotected sex. This includes oral, vaginal and anal sex too. So please, and any, any kind of genital contact or body fluid contact, so please make sure to use protection and be really careful and ask your partner and get tested. Also such infections can be prevented by vaccination, but not all of them. So guys, make sure to use those condoms. That's what they were invented for. That was it for today's Taboo Tuesdays episode. I'm sorry that it had to be about this topic. I know that it is a taboo, like a literal taboo, which we do not discuss that much. Although we hear about it, we do not discuss it. So I just wanted to mention all these things and I really hope that you've learned something new or at least you've refreshed your memory because it is important to know about these things. And if you haven't learned anything new, at least I hope that I've taught you and I've told you and you will remember to use condoms because those are the most effective ways to prevent transmitting STIs. Also get checked because you know, early treatment is better than no treatment. If you have any questions or concerns or just want to add to the discussion or leave a thought, then just leave a comment below and check out the info bar for really useful links as per usual. And if you've liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content because there is a new Taboo Tuesdays episode coming out in two weeks and other videos coming out every single Sunday. So I guess I will see you this Sunday with a cooking video. Bye!